There is a sound few people remember, so shocking and yet so reminiscent of Simi Valley. It's the roar of rocket engines and nuclear systems that once powered the U.S. space program and a radioactive meltdown they tried to cover up. I thought it was like a nuclear explosion or, or an earthquake or something going on because I had never heard it before. It was so loud. You could, the vibration, you could feel the vibration. From the late 1940s through the early 1990s, the Santa Susana Field Lab was ground zero for the largest and most expensive engines used in the Apollo, Space Shuttle, and military ICBM missile programs. It's against the, it's at the very top of the hill. It's about two hills over. It's a huge complex. Estimates state that as many as 30,000 tests were conducted up there. But what few people remember is what it sounded like. Most residents were unbothered, perhaps the sound of the future. Others, especially visitors, were frightened by the noise. It was so loud you could feel the ground rumble. And he goes, what's that, what's that? And I thought, oh, it's Rocketdyne up there. They must be testing some jet engines. No, 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 it's coming from over here. Rocketdyne's over there. The event took place thousands of times, day and night, no warning. If you lived in Simi Valley during the 1960s, 70s, or 80s, you remember this. The white clouds rising from the hills every few days. The surreal sci-fi nature of it all. And if you think this is interesting, here is something that many people still don't know. In 1959, one of those tests wasn't for a rocket. It was in fact a nuclear reactor, and it melted down. So the accident at Santa Susana was serious. About 10,000 curies of radiation were released in all. And yet there's room for debate on how well it was handled. Still, it has never been detailed in public till now. Radiation leaked into the air and settled over the area. Yet no one was evacuated. And to this day, victims and environmental groups are still fighting to be heard. If you ever wanted to know what it was like living in Simi Valley beneath the Rocketdyne testing facility, this clip offers a small glimpse into that reality. This was life during the active years of the Santa Susana Field Testing Lab.